All right, now that we've introduced the idea of, of the differential, um, let's write down our definition. Okay. So the setup, of course, is we need f to be differentiable. Maybe differentiable on some interval or some domain, right? But we'll just we'll be lazy here and say differentiable. Um, so the differential, let's highlight that. Differential of f, which is denoted by. dy is given by the following equation. Okay. So dy is defined as such. It's simply f prime of x times dx. Right? So if you can if you can compute a derivative you can compute a differential, right? The only difference between a derivative and a differential um, is we have this dx tacked on the end, right? Um, and so the, the reason that we put that on is we're, we're using this in this context of, of doing approximations. We're not just computing the derivative, we're using the derivative to do something. And that something is, is approximate change in a function, right? So the whole point here is that we have this approximation, right? So our approximation is, is going to be given by, and we usually don't put an argument in here, right? We don't necessarily put in a, a c value. We do write f prime of x here, even though over here we have f prime of c. Um, we, we kind of play a little bit loose with the notation here, and generally the context kind of keeps us out of trouble. But the, the idea here is that our, our delta y should be approximated by dy, right? Where by delta y, right, over here we mean f of x minus f of c. Um, or, or if you like, rather than saying f of x, we might say f of c plus delta x. Okay. And our dy is, is right here, right? Um, maybe we want to say something like dy at c. Um, you almost never see this notation, uh, but maybe it's, it's what you want here, right? Because this difference between the value of the function at c plus delta x and the value of the function at c, it is, according to our tangent line approximation, f prime of c times, well, you'll notice we write dx instead of delta x. Um, this is something that a lot of people find a little bit frustrating, right? Why do you, why do you write dx and delta x? And those seem to be interchangeable, um, but dy and delta y, those are different, right? Um, let's leave that to the next video. We'll have a quick discussion, explain why, why, why are these two different, right? You see it over here in the, on the diagram. Delta y, dy, they're different. They're clearly not the same value. Uh, delta x and dx, they're the same. What's up with that? Um, we'll deal with that when we come back.